We're here at the second annual Martin Luther King Beloved Community Luncheon talking about solutions to national problems involving more stores in the city of Detroit that provide nutritious foods. It was a rare gathering of independent retailers, labor officials, and representatives of faith-based groups. The topic of conversation focused on ways to improve access to capital and develop better food markets in Michigan's urban areas. The keynote speaker was Jeff Brown. He is a fourth-generation independent grocer and a small business consultant to President Barack Obama. His national nonprofit assists to solve the food access problems. He believes there is a lot of benefit for the city of Detroit. There's a lot of new jobs, and we could use jobs in Detroit. So I, I hope to see that the people of Detroit get a lot of opportunity, jobs, and entrepreneurial opportunities, and that everyone that lives here gets a better access to very good quality healthy foods. Reverend D. Alexander Bullock not only gave welcoming remarks at Bethany Baptist Church, but he talked about food and jobs. Young people need jobs. I think young people need to be supported with money for their business idea. I think young people in Detroit need to be a part of the comeback. And so this event is about getting jobs, money, and community support for Detroit to come back. AFPD President and CEO Ardea Rabo said the participation of the small businesses, labor, and faith communities is necessary to present a unified front to win a fair shake for Detroit's independent entrepreneurs and residents. Arabo noted that Brown was instrumental in developing the Healthy Food Financing Initiative in Pennsylvania, which brought about creating 83 new stores in the state that provide hundreds of jobs. He said AFPD is ready to bring a similar program to Detroit. Because access to capital is such a big issue, banks aren't really loaning the independents, um, especially in areas like Detroit, Benton Harbor, Flint. So it's going to give them the opportunity to remodel their stores, make it bigger, have better uh, resources to, to maybe spruce up the place and hopefully bring more people in. in. Brown is a highly successful businessman. As president and CEO of Brown Superstores Incorporated, a 10-store, $425 million supermarket chain based in Westville, New Jersey, that does business under the ShopRite banner, he is the ultimate boss of 2,100 employees. Brown approaches business with social awareness. He tries to make sure his stores offer both good jobs and healthy products to local residents. Cooperation is the key to success, he said, noting he has worked with government, financial institutions, community leaders, and the clergy to make his operation profitable. And nobody should be left out of the equation. And don't be afraid to give people a second chance at life, he said. Brown said he has given many ex-felons jobs. In fact, he employs about 200 former inmates in his Philadelphia stores, including some in supervisory capacities. A staunch foe of gun violence, Brown has led several gun buy back programs at his stores. His first at an outlet in Baltimore netted about 600 guns, while his efforts in Philadelphia have taken 8,000 firearms off the street. My idea is to work with wholesalers, to talk to the manufacturers, and to have an annual fundraiser to raise money for a gun buyback. And we would like to have an uplift employee stationed here in Detroit to help coordinate programs like that and to keep them going on an ongoing basis. Uh, the grocers, we'd like their help to be involved with us. If it's their neighborhood where they have a grocery store, we'd like them to help, help uh, run this. And of course, we would want to work with the police to collect the guns. Thanks to the second annual Beloved Community Luncheon, independent retailers now have more information to access federal funds. These funds will help improve the small businesses, not only provide nutritional and healthier foods, but also provide better urban markets for the community. I'm Morgan Levant. And I'm Kendall Levant. For, for YNN Logan Network, where we bring you the underside of the news.